A man in Cohasset has been charged with animal cruelty after being accused of shooting two of his neighbor's pet cats. Lakeland News reporter Sherelle Moore has more on the case that's making headlines across Minnesota. I have this little memorial set up to Olivia because I wasn't ever able to get her body. Pam Dahl says she's always been a cat lover. One day, two of her cats went missing named Olivia and Emerald along with her neighbor's cat, Pumpkin. Dahl later went to the police after she heard a voice recording of her neighbor, Stephen Michel, admit to killing the cats. According to a police report, Michel admitted to investigators that he did hate cats and would shoot at them, but only admitted to shooting two of the three missing cats. He said that although he shot at them, he didn't mean to kill them. He's been charged with three counts of animal cruelty, including a felony count. If convicted, the maximum penalty is two years in prison or a $5,000 fine. I take great pride in my care for and love for my pets. I take great pride in my neighborhood. I think this was a senseless, senseless act of violence. It's hard to believe that someone would do that to a pet and that a neighbor would do that. We reached out to Michelle to get his side of the story. He refused to go on camera but gave a statement saying, Dean Sheriff has talked to Pam on more than one occasion about feeding feral cats and they have attracted a bear and skunks. The city of Cohasset is in the know of what Dean Sheriff has talked to Pam about. Dean Sheriff is the security officer at the city of Cohasset. In a phone interview, he says the city is intending to stay neutral in the case and is leaving the investigation up to the police. He also wants to reiterate the city does not have a feral cat problem. Stephen had an issue with the neighbor feeding feral cats and whatnot, and, and I had a conversation with him, and I just told him, you know, the city doesn't regulate what animals you can feed and what animals you don't. You know, obviously it's been charged accordingly, and we'll see what the outcome is when it's all said and done. So. Michelle gave us his lawyer's number for further comments. We reached out to the law office, who told us they have dropped Michelle as a client due to a conflict of interest. Animal Folks in Minnesota is also involved in the case. When asked for comment, they gave us a statement reading, Crimes against animals must be taken seriously. Not only can this incident result in pain, suffering, or death for the animal, these types of crimes can escalate to violence against humans. Dal has now put her house up for sale. She hopes by sharing her story, people will understand it's against Minnesota law to kill people's pets. If you believe that a pet or an animal is a nuisance, you have the duty and obligation to call law enforcement or animal control. You do not have the right to pick up a gun. Reporting in Cohasset, Sherelle Moore, Lakeland News. Michelle says he would be willing to go on camera after his court date. He's scheduled to appear in front of a judge on December 27th. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.